Well, I've been working with Harris and Nigel and Chica on doing these musical connection events online, using music to help us feel a little bit better and connect with other people. And doesn't it show what music and the strength of spirit can do for us, for our, all of us, for our well-being? It's been so revitalising and energetic to see a lot of you connect with us and see you all moving with us and enjoying the music. We've got some fantastic musicians and singers giving up their time for you. And music can be helpful. People can get stuck, both in their emotions and in their bodies. We are looking to give beautiful, enlivening emotional journeys. I love the idea of listening to music with your whole body. Even our relationships are our bodies in relationship to other people. This isn't wishy-washy new age stuff. It's got really good science behind it and it works and it has no side effects. I really enjoy these evenings and look forward to many more. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Wellbeing Live Connection Through Music. This week's going super fast for me. And can you believe it? There's only one more show left before the lockdown ends. I'd like to thank you all personally for joining us on a weekly basis and making it such a pleasure and making it go so fast. It's great to see so many of you joining us again and people from previous weeks and new people as well. And I'm excited to bring you this week's show. This week we have Fred Claridge joining us, who's going to have do some uh, body percussion with us and do some live performances. And it's a real treat. First of all, I'd like to share the poll with you. On your screens, you will see a poll asking a variety of questions, including how physically well you feel or how physically safe you may feel. Great, thank you very much. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. Chika Robertson. Thank you very much, Paris, and how wonderful to see all of you from throughout the world. Tonight, we do have a fantastic program because we can feature Fred Claridge, who is an outstanding multi-instrumentalist. He's the drummer in my daughter's singer-songwriter Calista Kazuko's band, so I know him, I have the pleasure of knowing him already. And he's an outstanding person, therefore we're really delighted that he's a, a professional ambassador for the Music Mind Spirit Trust's Young Artist Musical Ambassadors Program. So tonight to introduce Fred, there's no better person than Calista, who will ask to introduce Fred on right now. However, I just wanted to make the point that I know that the future of music is in fantastic hands with this younger generation because they not only share with one another, but they share their talents with so many within their communities. Really very important issues they address. Callista, could you tell us a bit about those? Yes, hello, and it is such a pleasure to um have my dear friend Fred doing tonight's show. Um, so Fred and I played together for, can you believe it? It's actually, I think six years, I figured it out. And we've um, played such awesome shows together, like personal highlights was Madam Jojo's RIP. Um, we did a really cool show at the British Library. That was super fun. We played some amazing shows together and um, it's just a total joy to play with you and to have you as a friend. So Fred is an awesome drummer and also an incredible singer songwriter who goes under the name Sourced. And we're gonna be lucky enough to be treated to some live songs tonight from Fred. Um, but a big part of the work that we've done together is um, some amazing community work. So Fred does incredible work um, within the community, doing workshops and teaching. 
Um, and in 2018, we started a collective called Voice of ICO, uh, which did some really, really cool projects. So we're going to share a video now, uh, which shows what Voice of ICO is all about. Vico is an artistic army on a mission, a creative collective of top musicians, filmmakers and artists joining forces to campaign for change, opening minds and hearts through the power of beautiful art. We are extremely grateful to be supported using public funding by the National Lottery through Arts Council England. Our first project, Prescription Dream, launched in September 2018, drawing the spotlight on an ongoing prescription drug epidemic. Filmmaker Enya Balak Gupta created a powerful film depicting this prescription dream. Held at the stunning Lehman Lock Hotel in Aldgate, the launch event was a beautiful culmination of charity, healing, art, and awareness. In England alone, there are an estimated 1.5 million people suffering from doctor-induced benzo drug dependency, and more than 1 million patients are taking dependence forming drugs unnecessarily. Statistics show that roughly 50 Americans die from prescription painkiller overdoses every day. In partnership with charities Rest, Mind and April, this project campaigns to raise awareness and open dialogue on this important issue. Voice of ICO's campaigns include a series of musical workshops with Let's All Create, using art to help heal those who have been affected. These workshops are totally enlightening and a perfect illustration of how art can heal. We love the music because music is our life. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> we also run Stories, an online community vlog where Voice of ICO members share their personal experiences with prescription drugs. Each story is unique and highlights the potential dangers of a specific medication. We are extremely grateful for the outstanding support from artists, charities, advocates and the press for this debut campaign and we are delighted to announce the next Voice of ICO project. Great, that's so lovely to watch back. What an amazing project and um, a huge thank you to Arts Council England for letting that um, happen. Um, so that project, uh, we did some amazing workshops with MIND and the next project, um, we worked with an amazing uh, charity called Migrant Help and we did some incredible workshops with um, refugee and asylum seeker families and unaccompanied children, um, which we had a load booked for for this year that had been postponed. Um, and I'm really missing being able to go out and do that. So uh, it's I'm just so, so grateful that we're gonna be able to do some tonight with Fred um, together now. So without further ado, the fabulous Fred Claridge. Hi everyone. Well, that was, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of uh, talking about myself. I'm not usually very good at that, but um, lovely to see that, lovely to see that video again. Um, yeah, so we were, we were talking um, about uh what what me and Calista have been up to and just literally a couple of hours ago um I've been making some videos um for migrant help um because unfortunately we're not going to be able to go um in to the uh places into the settings to do this work so um I was making some videos so they could watch from home so I thought I'd try some of the stuff that we've been doing with them on you guys um, before before that, I should say thanks so much uh, to uh, Nigel and Ch Chica and Paris and uh, Cali for having me. Um, it's it's such a um, yeah such a pleasure to be here, and I'm going to do it. it's a bit of mixed night. We'll do a bit of this body percussion and uh, relaxation, and then I'll play you some uh, play you some songs a little bit later on. Cool. So if we can just start, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of set a pulse. Um, I hope you can hear that pulse with my feet. Um, and all we're going to do is we're just going to get comfortable in our seats, get comfortable in the spaces we're in. And move your, bring your shoulders, give them a bit of a jiggle around. And you can bring your shoulders right up to your ears. And back down again. And do that a few times. 
hopefully every time we do it, they might get a little bit lower. And give them a bit of a jiggle around. Okay, so we're just gonna use that pulse and we're just gonna listen and relax into it. And we're gonna breathe in for four beats and then breathe out for four beats. So it's gonna look like this, just in and out. And just keep going in and out. And feel free if you're comfortable to shut your eyes when you're doing this and out. In. In, out. And when you're breathing, just check in with the different parts of your body. So let's start right at the top of our head. Say hello to your top of your head. And just work down your body. Say hello to your shoulders. And say hello to the very tips of your fingers, down your arms. And come down through your chest. And just be aware of any strain or any stresses that you've got, but don't worry about them. And then come down, down through your legs. And then just say hello to the tops of your toes and keep that breathing in and out and in out and just keep going on that. And then if you just open your eyes for a minute, we're gonna use our hand just to place over our chest like me. And we're just gonna do a heartbeat. 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 And just let your eyes close again. Heartbeat. heartbeat. And just in the gaps between the heartbeat, just think how you're feeling at the moment. Again, not worrying about it, just being aware. You're feeling stressed or relaxed. Just keep that. Heartbeat, heartbeat. And stop. Lovely, and just open your eyes when you're ready. Nice. So that's the relaxation bit over. We're gonna get a bit energetic now. So big bit more shaking, bit of shaking, shaking those hands off. Nice. And uh, I'm gonna stand up, you can stand up if you'd like to, um, but don't worry if you don't want to equally. And I'll just come back a little bit um, so you can see me. So we're gonna try a couple of different body percussion exercises. Um, and these are from a really great book um, that a friend of mine wrote called Body Beats. And um, these are the couple that I, that I did for refugee help earlier on today. So we are going to start by stamping our feet two times. So we're gonna go like this. Okay. And can you do that with me, ready? Here we go. One, two. Lovely. And then we're gonna do two on our legs like this. One, two. 
And then we're going to do two on our bellies like this. One, two. And then we're going to do two on our chests like this. One, two. Lovely. And so that bit will, when we do it, will say, when you feel the beat come up you, like that. Does that make sense? So let's just watch me do it once. We'll go, when you feel the beat come up you. Okay, should we give it a try, ready? Here we go. When you feel the beat come up you. Lovely, and then we're gonna clap, click, clap. And if you can't click, don't worry, just do a movement sort of out here. Okay, so the whole thing, just watch me do it once, it goes, when you feel the beat come up you, clap, click, Clap. Should we give it a try, ready? Here we go. When you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap. And again, when you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap. And again, when you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap. And again, when you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap. Awesome. And then the way we'll finish it, we'll go one, two, three, and then we'll do a big crocodile finish, crocodile clap. Ready? One, two, three, four. Lovely. And the way we're going to start it is we're going to do some call and response, which is when I play something and then you guys play it back to me. Okay. So we'll start by just copying. So just have a just copy what I do, okay? And I might move it around the body depending on how we're doing. I've got a few people on my screen that I can see, so I'll be monitoring their progress. <laughs> okay, so let's give it a try. Me first, ready? Your turn. Nice. So call, call and response can sometimes be that conversation where you would just copy me, copy uh, whoever's um, doing the call. But we can also come up with a little musical conversation. And that's what we're going to try now. And this we're going to tag on to the beginning of that um, body percussion. So I'm going to say, when I play this one, you're going to say, we play this one back. OK, so you're not going to copy me this time. So. When I play this one, we'll play this one back. Does that make sense? So you just do the we'll play this one back. Me first, ready? When I play this one. When I play this one. When I play this one. Lovely, and we'll do that three times. And then when on the fourth time, I'll say, let's play this one. And you're just gonna do a big now. Okay, all right, so I'll say, when I play this one, <coughs> sorry, I did my bit wrong, didn't I? Let's play this one, <coughs> lovely. So it, the whole thing will go, when I play this one, you'll play this one back. When I play this one, we'll play this one back. When I play this one, we'll play this one back. Let's play this one now. Should we give it a try? Ready, okay. When I play this one, when I play this one, when I play this one, let's play this one. Nice, very cool. So we're going to tag it all together now. So what we'll do is we'll do the call and response, followed by the when you feel the beat come up you. Do that a few times. And then I'll do the we'll do the ending. Okay, let's try it. Ready? So me first. When I play this one. When I play this one. When I play this one. 
Let's play this one. Here we go. When you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap, and again. When you feel the beat come up, you clap, click, clap, and again. When you feel the beat come up. And one, two, three, and stop. Very nice. Good work, everyone. Come and sit down. Lovely stuff. So, as if to turn to change the mood slightly, I'm now going to uh, sing a few songs. I think. Um, so, this uh, yeah, this project. Um, I'm mainly I'm mainly a, a drummer, um, but uh, I love I love songwriting, um, and I was very inspired by the the sort of songwriters that I work with, of which Callista is one of them. Um, and so a couple of years ago, I, I kind of started releasing some music um, of my own, um, which is uh, lots and lots of fun. So um, I started writing songs about kind of people that I heard about mainly as a traveling musician, mainly on Radio 4 um, or in podcasts. Um, and because I listen to too, yeah, too much of that stuff. Um, and this first one is uh, about... Um, um, an amazing man called Cornelius Drebbel, who was a 17th century inventor, um, who some think that he invented, kind of, or not invented, but uh, kind of was the first person to find oxygen. Um, and, but he also was a really early um, developer of, of solar power and um, all sorts, all sorts of things. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's amazing. He was in James the first court. Um, and he was a kind of poor artist who decided to turn his uh, strengths to inventing instead. And this is called So Many Stories Started With You. Thank you. 
Thanks very much. I uh, I tried to read a comment in the chat while I was singing, and I forgot all the lyrics, so I'm going to turn the chat off. Um, um, so this this uh, next one also as a um, as a drummer, I'm uh, also lucky to and do quite a bit of well normally in non-corona times do quite a bit of touring um and uh and i was in paris on tour and there was an amazing um i went to a, a shop which i'm sure some of you have been to um called shakespeare and co um which was opened by an amazing lady called sylvia beach um and on the wall there was a a quote from her saying a quote from someone else about her saying that she did more to kind of link um, America with Europe um, than any politician um, put together. And I just saw that quote and I thought um, it was quite cool. And I looked her up and she was a really, really interesting lady. Um, she was a Jewish lesbian who got uh, caught, got uh, captured by the Nazis, um, but then released. And uh, she'd come all the way from America and she was the first um, person to put out uh, James Joyce. Uh, she put out Ulysses and uh, Ulysses, and then, um, but then he he left her for someone else. Anna Hemingway. She put out Hemingway first as well. Uh, this is called um, An American in Paris. in Paris you were first for me a long way from Baltimore but there's no place but here I'd rather be all the way across Dublin Bay that book it took my breath away Next on my list was Hemingway In the skies they got so much to say I didn't expect Paris to fool like it did I had a good run but there was no liberating this They found this American in Paris in 1942 I didn't mind closing my doors but I minded leaving you I'm only leaving you I'll meet you on the left side Where they sing things in right Ooh, we're gonna linger these great minds Leave this modern world Yeah. 
Thanks very much. Um, next, we're going to show a video, actually, because obviously, because of lockdown, um, I can't have my band here with me, um, unfortunately. So um, we're, I'm going to, recently I was get, given a really lovely opportunity to go to um, Abbey Road Studios in London and uh, record um, with my band um, some songs. Uh, and yeah, it was so much fun. And we we um, released um, one of them. We released we recorded two songs. We released one of them um, for a charity. I'm going to put a um, link in the chat um, for a charity in um, the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, a children's um, orphanage there. Because uh, not this song actually, um, but the other song that we recorded. Um, was written about a book um, I read called The Blood River. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever re read it. It's an amazing book um, and it really inspired me um, to write the song um, about, about the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, so I got in touch with the author and he sent me a really lovely message um, back all about like art and it's very arty and lovely message um and uh he said yeah he he basically got me in touch with the with the orphanage um and uh and i'm yeah i've been raising some money for them so um i'll put that i'll put that chat in the chat box um in a, in a second um but yeah this is the other video which is completely different subject matter actually this is um a a uh, fictional tale that my granddad was a drug dealer to the stars, but he wasn't. Um, but this is just a joke song, basically. So, yeah, enjoy this. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, go.
Thank you very much. That was nice to show a video and have a little bit of a, uh, a drink and a tune and a rest. That was lovely. Um, this, uh, yeah, this next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple more. Um, someone wave or scream at me if, if, I'm, if that's too many, but two, two is good. Um, and uh, um, this one, this one is, uh, it's called, what's it called? Um, Sitting There in Silence. Um, and it's about uh, an interesting man I heard about um, from the, from the second, from the, again, from the Second World War, actually, um, sort of some moral dilemma uh, song. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Thanks very much. So I think I've got time for uh, for one more song. Um, thanks so much uh, to to everyone for yeah for having me. Um, it's been a lovely a lovely evening, and it was really nice of Sting to support me a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, Oh, it's really, really a shame with this Zoom because no one can, you know, I can't hear everyone laughing at my bad jokes. Um, yeah, this, uh, so I think uh, Calissa is going to put, a, well, I can put a link or so, but um, yeah, basically it's sourced, S-O-U-R-C-E-D with a little dot after it, which I probably should get rid of because it makes it hard to find. Um, but yeah, sourced, 
um, on you know Facebook and uh, Instagram and Spotify um, and Bandcamp as well, um, which is where I've, I've already linked to the Bandcamp. So like there's things out there if you want to listen to some more songs um, and hopefully releasing some, mm. some new ones soon. Um, and this last one is um, a song kind of, in, I'm always really wish I'd have been alive in the sixties um, when I could have heard like song uh, people like Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys and the Beatles for the first time before everyone else copied them. Um, so uh, I have a bit of a yeah, a bit of a kind of thought of really loving the sixties. And and this is a song my dad's friend told me that he had his first kiss um, when he was about thirteen um, while listening to Pet Sounds for the first time and having his first kiss. And I thought that sounded bloody lovely, um, not in a weird way. So uh, this is a song about that and it's called Let's Go Away For A While and it's the uh, title track off um, my first EP. So enjoy, thanks so much. to write Those will always be my memories of you But let's go away for a while
Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, that's wonderful. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, I won't say anything more for the moment because I don't want to um, uh, muddy the uh, water in any way for people's spontaneous reactions. We want to give people a little bit of time now to write the second part of their uh, questionnaire. Uh, and after that, I'll make uh, so I'll do the analysis and make some comments. Uh, so I'll refrain, but what a wonderful show, that much I can say, absolutely wonderful. Thanks very much. Great, thank you. Uh, now, um, Joe and Paris, um, apologies for an unscheduled stop. <laughs> now, uh, I'd like to hand over to Callie for a moment. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Fred, and how amazing you are and how lovely that was because I miss you so much and I miss playing with you. So it was great. It was almost like we were together and I could hear your fabulous music again. Um, so thank you so much. That was just so lovely. I just also wanted to um, say to anyone that uh, so we spent the day today making uh, this workshop video, which Fred mentioned, and um, it will be online probably next week um, and it will be a free resource um, for charities, but also just for individuals. If you want, we've got one video uh, for uh, adults and um, older children and then we have a shorter 10 minute video for younger children that Fred made. Uh, so if anyone wants that, please just send me a private message now on the chat with your email and I will send an email out when it's made. Um, and that was it. But also, I did also want to make, make a little pit stop to say um, a massive congratulations to Paris for having such a, an amazing week. We had a birthday, we had Diwali, and we had an engagement. <laughs> congratulations, Paris. We are all hugely clapping for you. That was it. Thank you so much. And thank you, Fred, again. You're just awesome. Thank you. Great. Um, so lovely, thank you. Um, uh, thank you very much, Kelly. Um, so um, are you hearing me again, Paris? Yes, great, excellent. Um, so what a wonderful evening. And I think in uh, when you get a good drummer um, who can actually sing and can actually play the guitar, then special things begin to happen. And that rhythmic articulation, both on guitar and in the voice, and yeah, that kind of soaring, dreamy, folky kind of lyricism makes something very special. And I wonder where all the creative music's gone. Well, it's gone there. It's gone to people like Fred and Kelly and friends. Um, I only hope that whatever comes next in the musical world will give more people a chance to hear this because it's fabulous. It's really beautiful, absolutely wonderful music. Um, can we go to the analysis? Barry said that's okay. Uh, so this is our um, machine uh, that um, predicts uh, emotional responses. Um, and as you can see, if we look at arousal, that's arousal in, in, in the autonomic nervous system that we predict. And why do we predict it? Because we want to use this technology for medicine. We want to use music to help people various ways. I think there's a big future for music doing that and it needs its science and it needs its technology to do so. So here we are, we have one. And look at the, the path, rather predictable, which is so many stories that are kind of medium level of arousal going down for an American in Paris into a more contemplative place, reflective place, right up for granddad's old violin, as you'd expect. Um, and then down again for sitting there in silence and then a little bit up for the final song again. So that's the, the kind of trajectory of how we predict aroused and relaxed we're going to be through the sequence. Valence vagal power is how positive and negative our feelings are. And we have to say that in these songs, all of our feelings are positive. There's no, no, we detect no <laughs> negative feelings here. But there is a, there is a, a trajectory in the positivity. So it actually starts quite high in so many stories. I think it's to do with that kind of A-flat major kind of uh, open feel about it. Um, and then, of course, comes down for American in Paris to this contemplative, maybe slightly sad song um, in a way, um, but not negatively so. Um, in music, we can confront sadness as beauty. You know, that's the beautiful thing about music. 
we can travel through our emotions safely. Then surprisingly, I'd have expected vagal power, the positivity to go up for Grand Azo violin, it goes down a wee bit because, before coming up for sitting there in silence and then staying there for this final cheerful song. And why is that? I think it's to do with that kind of high life rhythm. I think it's to do with, you know, the, uh, which was beautifully done, by the way. Uh, I noticed somebody made some comparisons with Graceland. Well, uh, actually, yeah, but, but this is actually edgier. Uh, and I think it's that edginess in the rhythm that, has, that, that the system has caught and said, yeah, we're enjoying ourselves, but this is a bit edgy too. Uh, uh, and, um, and of course, that's another thing in music, we can enjoy edginess. So a very beautiful journey um, in, in our emotions. And once again, congratulations. A, a plug that sourced is, um, is Fred's uh, link, and we want to make sure that people look up on that stuff from chat. Uh, but there we are. Thank you very, very much for just a fantastic evening. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. It was really amazing. Thank you so much, Fred. Uh, we had lots of compliments for the rhythm section at the beginning as well. And, you know, we, we have talked before on this about the importance of rhythm as a kind of very basic um, human music that really reaches to our core. Just going to move the decks. Um, but it, it also reminded me when you're doing body rhythm, there's something about the power of touch as well. And touch is completely amazing because we know from um, research, for example, in perinatal, uh, in um, baby units of, of uh, babies that are being, being born before their term is up, that their isolation from being touched and held really is quite negative and that their lungs develop in um, correlation to the amount of gentle touch that they have. So even though the skin is not developed, it's really important. And I think, you, you know, this year is really hard for people because unless you're living with someone, touch is really out of bounds at the moment. And touch releases a hormone called oxytocin. And unlike those energizing hormones like of dopamine, oxytocin is the love hormone. It makes us feel calm and, and connected to other people. And uh, I'm sure music probably does that as well. It releases hormones that help us to regulate the worst of our stresses. And um, I, I thought your music was beautiful. It really, I felt myself just going, ah. Oh. <laughs> and um, you know, as the dog was kind of snuggling in, it's why we have therapy dogs, because even if you just stroke those little hairy bundles, they really uh, also get those hormones going that help. So thank you so much, Fred. And in this time of isolation, we need a whole range of ways to get the, the, the hormones in our brain flowing that help us to feel connected. And the thing about rhythm, is that it also joins up bits of our brain. So it creates associations, which is why rhythm is so important in our early development, if you can use it. And that's what oxytocin does too. It helps to create associations in our mind um, and pathways that help us connect in our mind. And as we're more connected and integrated in our mind, we have much more resilience and capacity to deal with all the things that life is throwing at us at the moment. So thank you so much for those reminders. And um, thank you, everybody. And I hope to see you next week for another great show. And of course, Paris, we're all so pleased for you. Thank so you. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. She's very lucky. As am I. As am I. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.